Hey YouTube, back again with another video. And in this video, I wanna talk about some things that I've noticed Autopilot doesn't do well. If you typically watch my videos, you know I'm a huge fan of Autopilot, so by no means is this a video to bash Autopilot and say it's horrible or it doesn't work. Autopilot's a great system and it has great features. And I really just wanna put this video out there as sort of some things that you might be also experiencing and so we can kind of create a discussion if I'm only seeing these things or if everybody's seeing these same things as well. First off, I'm in my Model 3 obviously and I just got a software update the other day, 2019.20.2.1. And so that's just for you guys to reference and compare to your vehicle to see if it's doing the same thing that mine's doing. So right up here, there's a section of road where keep your eye on this white line on the right hand side and the blue line on the right hand side on the center display. You're gonna see it kind of bubble out. So right here, I'm gonna stop for a second. You see that white line, how it curves to the right and watch when the car starts moving again, watch that line. Now in previous software updates, the car would swerve to the right hand side because it wants to center itself in the lane and it's computing that the lane is the entire space there. Now it does go over a little bit and you can see the blue line there is just huge. It makes the lane huge, but it didn't go over as far as I've seen before. Still goes over a little bit, but definitely an improvement with this software update, but still something that Tesla should work on in recognizing those type of situations where, you know, the there's a turn lane without any dash lines. Um, or something like that. So as we carry down the road here, I wanna slow down for this point here. You can see there's lots of shadows and I wanna just say, again, I love this autopilot system and it does a fantastic job navigating that curve right there and how it just is able to come up over this ridge and even though there's shadows from these trees, realize where the lane line is go around this left-hand turn lane and it doesn't follow the yellow line, it recognizes that that's a turn lane and it performs flawlessly. Like, this is incredible. This computer vision that Tesla's developing, of course, with our help and all our data that we're giving to Tesla is incredible. With that being said, we've all had those moments where we get that phantom braking and here's one of them. So you can see my regenerative braking right here is almost full throttle on regen, which as a driver makes you kind of, you know, unconfident because any human can realize that there's nothing in front of the vehicle, but for whatever reason, the vehicle did kind of, you know, slam on the brakes right here. I think that may have had something to do with potentially like coming out from behind those trees and that shadow right here. I'm not 100% sure, but that's just my theory. Let me know if you have a different theory down in the comment section below. And so again, I wanna talk about right here where autopilot doesn't do such a good job. So any normal human driver would see and stop and start to slow down. But you can see here, the autopilot is actually accelerating towards these stopped cars. And it's not until it gets much closer and then it kind of slams and starts to slow down right here. Not necessarily slams on the brakes, but once it's able to identify this car, once it gets around the curve, it's just, a little small thing where there's been several instances where let's say a car is parked at a stoplight way ahead of you and the car starts to accelerate even though you as a human driver know that the car needs to start slowing down because you see way ahead of you uh, that the car is stopped. So here's an example of that actually what I'm just talking about where the red light is in front of us and we see the car starting to accelerate, even though a human driver would know to decelerate in this situation, given that there is a red light and a group of stopped cars in front of us, and yet the car and the autopilot system is still accelerating at this moment, and rather than decelerate. But you can see that very quickly, the autopilot switches to regen, meaning that the car is starting to slow down and recognizes, but it's just, kind of unnerving as a driver, like you start to question the system, like, okay, is it gonna stop? I don't know, because you see that 
you get that kind of jerk like, whoa, why is it speeding up when me as a driver, I think it should be slowing down. So if you watched Autonomy Day, you heard one of the speakers talk about being able to identify objects in the road. And here's a pothole that I hit whenever I'm on autopilot every time because it's wherever the wheels are lined up in the center of the lane. So that's definitely something that autopilot can improve upon. And I know that Tesla's aware of it and they plan to improve upon that. So here's a situation where I've had autopilot kind of floor it right here where the car is transitioning out of your lane and it can't see the cars in front of you yet. But in this situation, the autopilot did do a great job. And again, I'm not sure if it's the update. So please let me know if you guys are running the same software version and you've had that situation happen. I know this is just one example and to get an accurate, you know, kind of data set, you need more information. Now this next clip will happen to me really randomly where the car is going through an intersection and it starts to freak out and just says take over immediately. But here I noticed that it didn't disengage autopilot. So I wanna look at that a little bit slower and try to figure out what the car is thinking. So as we approach the intersection, keep your eyes on the two blue lines and you're gonna notice that the car starts to actually decide, okay, left to right, left to right, and it's trying to figure out which lane it's supposed to be in. So I think that's why it was briefly takeover immediately and then it was able to figure out which lane it needed to be in. I wanna to talk to you guys about a special offer I have going on for the next couple weeks over on Patreon. It actually just started tonight, June 21st, and it's gonna run until the 5th of July. All of my tiers, even those of you that only do a dollar a month, will get a benefit that's typically reserved for the $10 level. So signing up for just a buck a month or more is gonna get you a personal shout out on my next YouTube video and on my Twitter account. And so how I'm gonna do that is through like credits at the end to show you guys and how you support the channel and how much I appreciate you guys for supporting me through Patreon. If you guys haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.